Hey guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start Internet Explorer. Um, go to Google and we're going to type in a LC4 download, okay? Um, load it up and it should be the first search that comes up. I've got the address uh, highlighted anyway, so just type in that address. Or you can just download LC4 from another site as well, but I know this site is safe, so download from here. Um, once you're on there, just click download uh, and download it. Now once you download it, we're going to install it, you just go to the file you downloaded to, click the setup button, um, just basically do whatever you do to install the thing, you probably know what to do on your computer, um, it's really simple, click next a lot, um, once it's installed, uh, we'll move on to the next step. Now when you actually open it, you'll get this screen here, uh, at stake LC4, it'll have um, trial, help, and a register on it. Um, we, that means we've only got the trial version, so we're going to have to go to this site first to download a crack software for it. Um, I'll just put it, put it up uh, bigger here so you can see what it is. Um, there we are. Go to that site and download that crack uh, from the link. There you go, so now once you've got it, you go to the site of the file where you put it to, open it up, um, you go to the dot, the actual thing you find, you'll come up with this, engine cracks, um, click register on the LC4 thing, and you'll get a serial number, um, input the serial number into the engine cracking, uh, add thing, click create, and it'll click a serial for you, put the serial into the, um, actual register button, click OK, and you'll get registered. Easy as that. registered you'll come to a screen like this uh, just hit next and you'll come to a another screen as well it's got get encrypted passwords we've got four choices we've got retrieve from local machine retrieve from remote machine retrieve from emergency repair disk retrieve from sniffing the local network uh, you can choose whichever one you want but I'm retrieve from the local machine just to show you guys so highlight that and just click next Alright, so once you've done that, you'll come onto a screen like this. This is choose auditing method. You get quick password audit, common password audit, uh, strong password audit, and you got custom audit. Um, click on custom, and then you'll go on custom options. Um, we'll have a few other things as well. We have a box called perform dictionary attack on the password, perform hybrid attack, dictionary attacks, perform brute force attack. We're going to use brute force attack. We're going to use 8 to 7, 0 to 9, because it'll be much quicker. Using punctuation takes a lot longer. Now, so once you've done that, um, click OK, go to Next. I also display passwords and audited, display encrypted password hashes, how long each audit each password, display auditing method. Um, the hashes button should be off, but I'm going to put it on because you can use ha hashes for a number of different programs as well, like Offcrack, um, which is some kind of more complicated version of LC4. So once you've done that, you click Next, um, and that's how you next and you come onto this screen um, it just says begin auditing it just tells you the options which you've put uh, inputted take a look to make sure everything's right and click finish and the audit will begin um, on this side you get dictionary status brute force summary we've just chosen brute force attack it'll do a quick calculation as long as it's going to take it's not going to take too long depending on the size of the password but it does hack any password within said an, an hour or two depending on how fast your computer is it's really good um, so once it's signed the password, it'll say LM password and TM password, and it should just come up after a couple of minutes or whatever. Um, just be patient, and you'll get the password. Thanks for watching my videos, guys. Hope it's helpful. If you got any questions, just message me. Um, once again, make sure you use it for 
fair purposes, don't use it for anything illegal, you know, like hacking your school computer. You've been hit by, you've been hit by a smooth Thanks for watching, any questions you ask?